When it comes to advertising networks in any routing protocol, there is one key rule. For a router to advertise a network, it must first be in the routing table. Now why is that a rule? Because when a router advertises a network, it's saying, I know how to get to this location. There are two ways a router will know about a network. One, if it's connected to the router, or two, if it's learned from another source. Another source, for example, being a static route. In both cases, that network will be in the routing table. The default route, though, is a little special. It is 0000 slash 0, and we will never have an interface with an IP like this. So how can we advertise the default route to another router? First, remember our rule. It needs to be in the routing table. There is a small exception to this, which we'll take a look at later. In this topology, the simplest option is to add a static route to R1. As we've seen in other videos, this uses the IP route command. For the next hop, we'll use 192.168.10.2. This would usually be an IP address that your internet provider would give you. When we look at the routing table, we now have a default route. Its type is static. That's step one complete. If we look over at R2, we see that this has not yet made a difference. There's no default route. Even though R1 and R2 are OSPF neighbors, R1 does not automatically share the default route. You've got to tell OSPF to share it. We do this under router OSPF configuration area. Then we want to use a magical command, default information originate. This command redistributes the default route into OSPF, allowing it to be advertised. Redistribution is taking a route from one location and placing it in another routing protocol. In this case, we have a static route and we're redistributing it into OSPF. Redistribution is a much bigger topic that you'll see if you go on to the CCNP exams. For now, this is just a very small introduction. If we take a look at the routing table on R2 again, we'll see that it's got a default route. The protocol code next to it is interesting. It says O star E2. O means that it's an OSPF learned route. The star means it's a default route. And E2 means that this route was redistributed into OSPF from an external source. That is, in this case, a static route. So whenever you see E1 or E2, you know that it was redistributed into OSPF. So we know that the rule is that networks must be in the routing table to advertise them. Although I did say there was an exception. Take a look at quiz question five. Put in a little bit of research of your own and see if you can work out how it's done. For today's lab, you're going to optimize OSPF. All the routers are working, but they could be better. You can take the skills you've gained over the last few videos and work through it. I know you can do it. We've covered OSPF pretty well now. In the next video, we're going to get started with quality of service. This is where we can prioritize different traffic types. I hope to see you there.